Hello, everyone. Fiona, the fire truck's at the garage today. She's having her yearly checkup. Yes, Blue. There is a lot to do. It's going to take all day. Hmm. If Fiona is here all day, what's going to happen if she's called to an emergency? What's that, Red? You've got a friend who'd like to volunteer for firefighting duty. Brilliant! Where is this new friend of yours? I'm really excited about meeting this shiny new fire truck. I wonder when she's going to get here. Oh, she's here already. Uh, hello. You must be Maggie. Maggie the mini fire truck. Hehe, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was expecting someone a little <laughs> bigger. Ah! <laughs> yes. Stop, stop. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Red. I'm sorry, Maggie. It was mean of me to laugh at you because of your size. Thanks for offering to help today. A fire? At the farm? You'd better get going. Good luck, everyone. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Red. Hello, Blue. You look worn out after such a busy day on firefighting duty. What a fantastic job you've done covering for Fiona. Even though you're tiny, you were a massive help today. Now Fiona's as good as new. She can't wait to get back to work. And Maggie's going to make a fantastic addition to the firefighting crew. You best get going. See you both again soon. I hope you enjoyed meeting our new friend Maggie today. She showed me that even the smallest people can make the biggest difference. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye. Hello, everyone. Our friend Max the Monster Truck is here at the stadium. He's practicing jumps and flips for his new super stunt show. Max wants to attempt a 360 degree backflip. It's one of the most difficult things a monster truck can do. To perform a perfect backflip and land back on his wheels again, Max needs to flip all the way over. Not 90 degrees. Not 180 degrees. Not 270 degrees. But a full 360 degrees. That's a full circle. Max is getting into position. I think he's ready. Three, two, one. Go, Max, go! 90 degrees? 180 degrees? 
270 degrees? Oh no! Oh Max, you nearly made it. But you landed very hard on your front wheels. I think you might have broken something. Let's check your steering. OK, Max. Try driving in a straight line. Oh, dear. Now try turning left. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now try turning right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not good. I think we need to get you to the garage right away. Hello, Tilly. Please, can you come over to the stadium right away? Max needs your help. Hello, Tilly. Are we glad to see you. Max's front wheels don't seem right. Could you tow him to the garage, please? And can you give me a lift back too? Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Max turn. Max's jump didn't go well. That landing sure looked sore. I think his axle might be bent. Let's lift him to make sure. The axle connects to the wheels and helps Mac change direction. Just look at his wheels sag. He needs closer inspection. With a broken axle, Max can't jump. This really isn't great. I'll call on the mechanicals to get that axle straight. Go, go mechanicals! There. Max is looking much better now. Well done, Mechanicals. Hmm. I think Max needs more power to complete his backflip without crashing again. I'll get the Mechanicals to fit his engine with a turbocharger. The turbocharger fits onto Max's engine to make him more powerful so that he can go faster and jump further. Wow, listen to that! Sounds like Max is ready to try that jump again. Let's head back over to the stadium. Max is ready. Three, two, one, go! 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees, he's done it! A full backflip and a perfect landing. Well done, Max. I'm glad Max completed his amazing jump in the end, with a little help from his friends at Gecko's Garage. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you at the garage again soon. Bye! Hello everyone, Gecko here. 
It's the end of a long day here at the garage, and the mechanicals are getting ready for bed. Oh, Blue Mechanical, are you okay? Oh dear, it looks like there's a leak in the garage roof. We'd better go up there and fix it. Mechanicals, I need a volunteer to come and help me out, please. Thanks, Blue. Yikes, it's very rainy out here. Be careful, Blue. I think there's a storm coming. Ah! Oh no! Blue Mechanical's been struck by lightning! Are you okay, Blue? Come on over and let's get you into the garage and check you out. Poor old Blue Mechanical. It must have been very frightening. One minute you're working on the roof, the next, you're struck by lightning. Your friends have checked you over and listened to you whir and beep. Now they think you're probably okay. You just need a good night's sleep. Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful day at Gecko's Garage after the storm last night. How are you feeling, Blue Mechanical? There's no time for a break here at the garage. Here comes Max the monster truck. Max wants to go faster in his stunt show, so we're going to make some enhancements. Welcome, Max. With these changes we're going to make today, you're going to go as fast as lightning. Now, where did I put that screwdriver? Is it in this toolbox? No. In this drawer? No. Hmm. I really must get more organised. Now, where is it? Hmm. Where's your wheel gone? Well, that is a mystery, Max. I'm sure it'll turn up. But in the meantime, let's paint a new design on you. How about a lightning bolt? Blue? Blue? Are you okay, Blue Mechanical? Wah! Blue! What's got into you? Well, stop that right now, Blue. Why are you being so naughty? Oh no. Look at the mess that naughty Blue Mechanical's made. He's malfunctioning. That means something is terribly wrong with his onboard computer. Blue? Look at the damage you've done. How are we ever going to repair this? Oh, Blue, it's okay. We'll get to the bottom of the problem. I wonder if the malfunction was caused by that bolt of lightning last night. Oh, no. Not again. Oh, dear. He's on the loose and he could be anywhere. Mechanicals. We need to do everything we can to stop Blue. Go, go, Helen! Look, Mechanicals. There goes Millie the police motorbike. She's been called to an emergency. I just wonder if it's something to do with our blue friend. Let's follow her. Oh, look! Blue Mechanical's causing all sorts of trouble at the construction site. Gotcha! Come on, Naughty Blue. 
let's head back to the garage and get you back to your old self again. Mechanicals, can you stay here and repair Rick and Celia, please? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help. A mechanical in need. We must fix Blue Mech's problem. This really can't go on. Some of the time he seems fine, but then he goes all wrong. He's really been so bad today, and not just once or twice. Something's made him naughty, when he's usually so nice. There's something up with his computer code. It's just one word that activates his mischief mode. Can you help me? What is the word on the screen? I can't say it in case Blue turns naughty again, but you can. If you can shout it out, then maybe we can help. Shout it out! Yes! You're right! I'll do some quick programming to remove the mischief mode from Blue's system. Now, let's try saying that word again together. Ready? Lightning! <coughs> Hooray! You're cured, Blue! Thanks for your help on that. That's okay, Blue. Thank you for saying sorry. Look at all this mess. And poor old Max is still without his wheel. Look, Blue! Our friends have arrived to help tidy up the mess. And Red Mechanical has found your wheel, Max. That's what friends are for. It's amazing what you can achieve when friends all pull together. What you did was very naughty, Blue. But the most important thing is you said sorry and repaired the damage that you caused. Wow, what a day here at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again next time. Bye! Hello everyone! Tilly and I have been doing some repairs here at the school. And now it's time to head back to the garage. The mini mechanicals have finished school for the day too. They're waiting for Sammy the school bus to take them home. Here's Sammy now. Hello, Sammy. Ooh, that door sounds squeaky. All aboard, Mini Max. One, two, three, four, five. There. You're ready to go. Oh dear, that doesn't sound right. Poor Sammy can't open his doors. They're stuck. And the mini mechs can't get out. We need to check your electrics, Sammy. Don't try and move. You might make things worse. It's a good job I was passing by with Tilly. We'll tow you to the garage. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Sammy turn. Sammy's doors won't open. The mini mechs are trapped inside. But what's wrong with Sammy? Are all his electrics fried? No, it's just his door at fault. Those hinges are all rusty. Let's get the mechs to take them off and fit ones that are more trusty. Go, go, mechanicals! Now the old doors have come off, the mini mechs can get out. But now all they want to do is play and run about. 
Careful now. Don't touch that. Watch out for that hole. Red and green mechanical. Get these kids under control. Green and red are struggling to keep those mini mechs from being silly. I think that they could use a hand from our friend Tow Truck Tilly. Her cargo bed can hold them safe to stop any more fuss. So we can think of what to do to help Sammy the school bus. We need to replace those old rusty doors with smooth new ones. But while we have Sammy here at the garage, I think we should install a surprise for the mini mechs to make getting off the bus more fun. There, the doors are all fixed. And the mechanicals have added an extra something special. One, two, three, four, five. Let's drive these mini mechs home so they can try out the surprise. I'll follow you in Tilly to make sure everything's working okay. Hee-hee! <laughs> That's right! It's a surprise slide! One, two, three, four, five. What a cool way to get off the bus. Thanks, Sammy. And thank you, Little Mechanical, for the hug. That's really very kind of you. I'm glad you like the slide. And thanks to you for joining us today. I hope you had as much fun as the Mini Mechanicals did. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! Gecko here! The construction trucks are busy building a brand new play area at the school today. Great work, Blue Mechanical. That new rainbow paint mixer's working brilliantly. Oh dear, Blue! I think I might have spoken too soon. Celia the cement mixer's on her way, with lots of concrete mixing in her drum. Celia's drum keeps spinning, round and round and round. It keeps the concrete nice and soft, until it's in the ground. The mechanicals have a secret plan, to make the ground less boring. Here we go! This is the spot. Celia can start pouring. No! Oh dear, Celia, stop! What's wrong, Red Mechanical? Celia, apparently your concrete's the wrong colour. You need lots of different coloured concrete. How on earth are we going to do that, I wonder? That's it! Blue Mechanical, please can we borrow your new rainbow paint mixer? Now, with a little alteration, we can attach the paint mixer onto Celia, connect the pipe to the drum, hmm, and yes, brilliant! I think that's it. OK, let's test this out. Let's try mixing some red concrete. You help me. What colour is the mechanical holding up? Yes! That's right. It's orange. That's looking great. What colour's this? Yes, that's right. Let's have yellow now, please, Celia. What colour's next? Brilliant! 
Next up is green. There's another colour. Which one's this? Can you say it with me? Blue. Yes. It's time for blue. Beautiful. I think we're nearly there. This next colour has a tricky name. It's called indigo. And finally, do you know this one? It's called violet. But between you and me, it looks a lot like purple. Fantastic work, Celia. And a great team effort from everyone. Look at that. We've made a beautiful rainbow on the playground floor. The Mini Mechanicals are going to love this. Don't you just love happy endings? Thanks very much to you for helping us out today. We'll see you again soon at Gecko's Garage. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone, Gecko here. The Mechanicals are a bit bored today and they want to play with something. I've got a special surprise idea for them and Eric the Excavator is going to help. We're going to turn Eric into a theme park ride. I've designed a new attachment for Eric's boom. It's a big bucket with enough seats for all of the Mechanicals. Eric will be able to pick up the bucket and spin it around and around really, really fast. I call it the Excavator Rotator. Does that sound like a fun ride, Mechanicals? Do you want to help me build the new attachment? Brilliant! Let's get to work. Finished. That looks amazing. Eric's all ready to start the ride. Are you ready, Mechanicals? Hop on board. I know you're nervous, Green, but it's perfectly safe. And you might find that you enjoy it. Go on, give it a go. I think we need a countdown from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! That looks like great fun. Well done, Eric. Oh dear, Lou looks very dizzy. Watch out for those tyres. Oh dear, too late. Look at that. Green loved the ride so much that she wants another go. Well done, Green, for being brave. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing Eric's new attachment in action as much as we did. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane 
is smashing an old wall at the construction site today. And here comes Rick the road roller. I don't think he's looking where he's going. Look out, Rick! Uh-oh! Too late! Ooh, what a nasty smash! The mechanicals are getting the garage ready for our poorly friend, Rick the Road Roller. Rick carries a big heavy drum in front of him, which he uses to flatten roads. That makes them nice and smooth. Rick's drum should be a cylinder shape, but that smash from Ryan has made it go all wonky. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Rick. Wow, you really do have a problem today. Your drum is all broken and twisted. I think it needs replacing. Let's fit you a new one. Oh, Rick, what a mess you've got yourself in. Your drum's all twisted, and now it won't spin. We'll find a nice new drum, just for you. Let's fix you up. There, good as new. Hmm, that new drum doesn't look like the old cylinder. I think that's a sphere. A sphere is different from a circle. A circle is round and flat. A sphere is round, but solid, just like a ball. Let's test it out. I don't think this sphere is the right shape for Rick's drum. It's making Rick all dizzy and confused. Let's go back inside and try again. Don't worry, Rick. No need to fear. The mechs will soon replace that sphere. Pop out the drum and look at that. A cylinder whose sides are flat. Oh dear, Mechanicals. That's not a cylinder shape. It's a cuboid. A cylinder has to be round. Rip can't roll a road using a shape with flat sides. All that thumping is giving Rick a headache. Now the mechs know what to avoid. Drums that are spherical or cuboid. What's this drum they're trying to wrangle? I don't like the look of that triangle. That triangular prism isn't right either. Mechanicals, are you trying to make Rick crash? Oops, too late. There we go. That's a cylinder and it fits just right. The rounded shape is perfect for Rick to move around on and roll things flat. Rick, if you wouldn't mind just smoothing out the damage to the car park before you head off, that would be much appreciated. Let's hope you won't be needing a new cylinder anytime soon, Rick. We need you out there rolling our roads. Thanks for helping me out today at Gecko's Garage. Join me next time when we help another vehicle in need. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Rebecca the Recycling Truck and her team of mechanicals are so busy today. There's bins all over town waiting to be emptied. Oh dear! I think Rebecca wants to help her team, but she doesn't have the right tools to do it. Come over to the garage right away, Rebecca. I've got a bright idea. We can fit Rebecca with a new tool to help her collect the recycling. With a super powerful electromagnet, Rebecca will be able to lift the bins up all by herself. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. That 
That looks brilliant, Rebecca. Why don't you go and try it out? Magnet on. That's the metal pin emptied. Magnet off. This is working perfectly. Magnet on. Hmm, that's odd. Rebecca can't seem to pick up the other bins. Of course! Rebecca's magnet doesn't work on the paper, glass and plastic bins. Magnets only work on metal things, like the mechanicals. Oh no! Rebecca, come back to the garage, quickly! I know you want to pick up that plastic bottle from the river, but it's not metal, so your magnet wouldn't work. Don't worry, Rebecca. I've had another idea. We'll swap your magnet for this orange grabber and green robotic arm. There! That's much better. That orange grabber should work on all the bins, not just the metal one. And your robot arm should help you collect any loose bits of rubbish. Fantastic! Rebecca's new tools work a treat. Now she can help her team collect the recycling in double quick time. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to recycle. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone! Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane has just knocked down a load of old buildings. My cleanup crew are here to clear the construction site, ready to build some colourful new houses. construction site isn't a safe place to play. You're supposed to be working as a team, helping your friends to clear the site. They can't do it without you. It's time to get back to work, please. Danny the Digger is using his giant shovel to push the rubble into larger piles. Eric the Excavator is using his bucket to lift the rubble up and load it into Dylan the dump truck. And Yellow Mechanical is making sure the trucks are working together as a team. Now Dylan is fully loaded, he's driving the rubble over to the recycling centre these old bricks will be smashed up into smaller pieces to help build new roads. Some of them will be ground into dust and used to make new bricks. Brilliant! Fantastic! Good work, everyone! By working together and helping each other, you got the site cleared. Thanks for visiting us today. It's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Here come my baby bus friends. They're chasing their Uncle Bobby down the road. Hello, baby buses. What's wrong? Ah! <laughs> 
What's that? The buses wish they were bigger and longer like their Uncle Bobby. No problemo. Would you like to go into my stretching machine? Harry is the first in line. Squash and stretch and realign. The stretching machine is super strong. It's made Harry twice as long. The next one in is little Molly. Squish and squash, oh how jolly. The stretching machine is super strong. It's made Molly three times as long. Last into the machine is Dot. Squish and squash and stretch a lot. The stretching machine is super strong. It's made Dot four times as long. Wow! Look how long you all are. Your brothers and sisters are going to be very surprised to see you. Thanks very much for visiting Gecko's Garage today. Bye! Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane is working on the construction site today. His job is to smash down old buildings using his big, heavy wrecking ball. Go, go, Ryan! Oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. Your wrecking ball is lost in the river. Poor, poor Ryan, you can't do your job without your wrecking ball. Come over to Gecko's Garage right away. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Drive onto the platform and let's take a good look at you. It looks as if the wrecking ball wasn't attached properly. I'll get the Mechanicals to find you a new one to try out. Go, go Mechanicals! they found you a new wrecking ball. Now, let's see if you can smash this wall. Ooh, it may be strong and very shiny. But that ball is far too tiny. The second ball looks just the thing. Now give it an almighty swing. It's big and heavy and... Oh wait, Ryan can't even hold it straight. The third attempt might smash the wall. It's not too big and not too small. But a glass wrecking ball, I fear, is not the cleverest idea. The fourth one's made of stronger stuff. I hope that it's strong enough. Oh dear, this wrecking ball's no good. We can't smash a solid wall. With wood? Surely now these blocks will fall. With a rubber wrecking ball? Ryan swings it back, but no such luck. Look out, Mechanicals, quick! Duck! Ah, finally, the real deal. A wrecking ball that's made of steel. It's strong and heavy, not too small. One swing, and then it's... Bye-bye, wall! 
Fantastic. The Mechanicals have found the perfect wrecking ball for you, Ryan. And it's held on firmly, so you won't have any more accidents. Time to get you back to work at the construction site. I'm glad we could fix Ryan's wrecking ball. He has important work to do smashing down old buildings so that his friends can build new ones. And now he has the right tool for the job. For more amazing videos, why not tap here to subscribe to Toddler Fun Learning and tap here to watch more videos from me! Hello everyone! We're heading off to our spare parts store today. It's on the other side of town, so Helen the helicopter is going to fly us there. Go, go Helen! The store is where we keep all of the spare parts for the vehicles we look after. It's in an awful mess, so we're meeting Florence the forklift truck there. She's going to help us get things tidy. Hello Florence. I'm so glad you offered to help. Some of the spare parts are far too heavy for me and the mechanicals to lift by ourselves. Should we go and take a look inside? Oh dear, just look at this mess. I try to keep things tidy, but we've been so busy lately. Let's try sorting everything by size, shall we? Small, medium and large. much tidier, but there aren't many big or small parts, but there's loads of medium sized ones. There isn't enough room for them all. We'll have to try something else. How about sorting the parts by shape? Circles, squares and triangles. Hmm, we have lots of wheels and other circle shapes, and we have lots of parts in square boxes, but no triangles. Let's try again. How about sorting the shapes by colour? That might work. Red, yellow and blue. Uh-oh. We have a place for all the red, yellow and blue parts. But what about all of the other colours? No, this won't do. One last try. Let's try sorting by vehicle. So, bike, car and van parts on the left, truck and bus parts in the middle and construction vehicle parts on the right. Perfect! A place for everything, and everything in its place. Very tidy. Oh no! Florence, what's the matter? Is something wrong? Your lifting forks look damaged. The mechanicals will get you some replacement forks. At least we know where to find them, now that the store is tidy. You're a construction vehicle, so your parts will be over on the right. I'll go outside and call Helen to take us back to the garage. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help! A vehicle in need! 
Let's take a good look at you to see if there's anything else wrong. Mm, no, it looks like just your forks are broken. We'll soon get you fixed up. Go, go, mechanicals! Florence worked so hard today. She is a brilliant friend. I'm sorry that it took so long, but we got tidy in the end. All that lifting broke her forks. We'll fix her good as new. As a thank you for all her hard work, it's the least that we could do. There, you're fit and healthy again, ready for your next job. I'm glad Florence could help us tidy up. She's a hard worker and a brilliant lifter. Bye! Danny the Diggers dug out a big trench in the soil to build a new road. Here's Dylan the dump truck. He's dropping off a load of stones and rubble to put on top of the soil to make the road strong. Dylan, please can you dump the rubble there so that Danny can scoop it into the trench. Dylan's a very helpful vehicle on the construction site. Now that he's helped Danny the digger, he can now take away all these old broken blocks that Ryan has smashed down. Mia, can you help to lift the blocks onto Dylan's dump bed, please? Dylan's a very strong vehicle, so he can carry a lot of heavy things around. Dylan has two hydraulic pistons, which push his dump bed up into the air, so that he can quickly dump his load onto the ground. Just like that. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Something's gone wrong, and Dylan can't lower his dump bed again. Dylan, you better come to Gecko's garage right away. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. I hope Dylan can get under the door frame with his dump bed stuck like that. Hello, Dylan. You made it through okay. Drive onto the platform so that we can take a good look at you. This is Dylan's dump bed, where he carries heavy loads. And these are his hydraulic pistons, which are super powerful. They push the end of the dump bed up into the air so that the load can slide out quickly. Hmm, those pistons look damaged. They won't let the dump bed come down again. I'll get the mechanicals to swap them for new ones. Go, go, mechanicals! Oh dear, if the mechanicals remove the broken pistons, then the dump bed will fall down and squash them flat. What can we do? I know, this looks like a job for Super Mechanical. Go, go, Super Mechanical! Poor old Dylan the dump truck. No wonder he's wearing a frown. He can't bring his friends the things they need when his dump bed won't go down. Super Mechanical holds him steady while the others make him good as new. And now they've swapped his pistons. Let's see what he can do. Dylan's loaded up with tarmac. We repaired him and he's thrilled. He's driving to see Danny. There's a road they have to build. Danny's finished the base layer of the road and now they just need to add the tarmac. Dylan, can you slowly pour the tarmac out, please? Brilliant! Your hydraulics are working perfectly now. That 
that's looking good. I think it's time for our other friends to help out. Here comes Rick the road roller to roll the road flat. Great work, Rick. Now the road is flattened, it just needs its lines painting. And look, here comes Sid the skid loader. He has a line painting attachment. What a nice straight line he's painting. Well done, Sid. That looks brilliant. Now the road's finished. We need someone to test it out. Here comes Bobby the bus. He's very big. If the road can take his weight, then it must be really strong. Looking good. Great job, everyone. Bobby's heading off to Gecko's garage to help Helen the helicopter. Find out more in the next episode. See you again soon. Bye. Fantastic, Helen. Now, slowly put Millie down over there, on the left. Oh, hello, everyone. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with Millie the motorbike. These vehicles are helping Helen with her training exercises. It's important for Helen to practice lifting different vehicles and placing them down without hurting them so that she can rescue vehicles in a real emergency. Helen's lifting each vehicle and placing them in a special order. Can you guess what the order is? That's right, she's sorting them by size. Starting from the left, we have the smallest vehicle first. Millie the motorbike, Rick the road roller, Max the monster truck, Rebecca the recycling truck, Fiona the fire truck, and, oh, there should be one more. Ah, here he is, Bobby the bus, just in time. Bobby's the biggest vehicle here. Helen, can you please lift Bobby to the end of the line? Oh dear, Helen, I think there's something wrong. Your winch cable looks like it's about to snap. Ah! Oh dear, oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. My arm is sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, Helen, you look badly hurt. I'll get Florence the forklift to lift you back up onto your skids and we'll take a look at you. The skids are a helicopter's feet. Helen rests on them when she isn't flying. Your skids seem okay, but your rotors have been damaged. Your winch cables snapped, and you're covered in scratches. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, mechanicals! I'm really sorry, Helen. You're in such a sorry state. The mechanicals will fix you up and you'll soon be feeling great. They'll swap your broken rotors, spray your scratches and much more. Fit a thicker cable to your winch, far, far stronger than before. Fantastic. Now you're all fixed up, let's head back outside and test your tough new winch out. Let's try sorting the vehicles by colours of the rainbow. Starting with Fiona, the red fire truck on the left. Next is Max, the orange monster truck. Do you know who comes next? That's right, it's Rick, the yellow road roller. After Rick, it's Rebecca, the green recycling truck. Who's next? That's right, it's Millie the blue motorbike. And last, but definitely not least, it's Bobby the purple bus. Careful now, Helen, nice and steady. 
brilliant. The mechanicals have fixed you up and made your winch even stronger. You can lift Bobby up no problem. And now the vehicles form a perfect rainbow and they match the real rainbow up in the sky. Beautiful. Thanks Fiona, Max, Rick, Rebecca, Millie and Bobby. And thank you for joining us at the garage today. Andy the Animal Ambulance is visiting Number Zoo today. He's here to pick up a poorly monkey and take her over to Dr Poppy's Pet Rescue Centre. Oh dear, what's happened to poor Andy? He's picked up his poorly passenger, but those cheeky monkeys have torn off his flashing lights. Andy's covered in banana skins. Drive over to Gecko's garage and we'll get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Before we can check you over, we need to clean off all those banana skins. Time for a quick trip through the truck and car wash. That's better. Now we can see the damage those pesky monkeys have caused. Come into the garage and we'll take a good look at you. Those naughty monkeys. Your wipers and mirrors have been torn off, as well as your flashing lights. Talking of monkeys, we'd better check on your patient. Go, go, mechanicals! Oh no, the patient isn't here. She must have escaped. She's not in the ambulance. Where can she have gone? Hey, put that down! No, that's very expensive. Catch that monkey. Oh dear, I think I'll have to call Dr Poppy for help. Hello Gecko, is everything okay? How's that sore arm of yours healing? Oh fine, thanks to you Dr Poppy. But I have another problem right now. Andy the animal ambulance is in the garage for repairs. But the patient he was bringing to you has escaped. And she's wrecking my garage. That sounds like Mabel the monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. Can you catch her? She's too fast and she's throwing things around like crazy. Try playing some gentle music to calm her down. Then put some bananas into the back of the ambulance and she might go back in by herself. OK. Thanks, Dr Poppy. We'll give that a try. Bye. That monkey is a handful, even though her tail is floppy, but she's safely back where she belongs, all thanks to Dr Poppy. The mechanicals have fixed you up, they work hard without fail. Now it's off to the pet rescue centre to fix that monkey's tail. Welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a hospital just for poorly pets. Let's see what's wrong with Mabel, shall we? Here she comes down our conveyor belt now. Robbo, what can you tell us about Mabel? Mabel is a type of monkey called a spider monkey. Spider monkeys spend most of their time up in trees and they use their long tail like another arm to grab on and swing from branches. Thanks, Robbo. But oh, look! There seems to be something wrong with her tail. There appears to be a knot in her tail. One of those other cheeky monkeys must have played a trick on her. Naughty monkeys. Robbo, how are you with knots? Perfect. Mabel, you have your tail back. <laughs> hey! It looks like Mabel is back to her old self again. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye. Celia the cement mixer is working hard on the construction site today. She's pouring concrete into the ground to make strong foundations to build houses on. This site needs a lot of concrete. 
Celia, you'd better come over to the depot to get some more. It's just round the corner from Gecko's garage. Concrete is made from different ingredients all mixed together, like a cake. To build a good strong building, we need good solid ground. The ingredients fill Celia's drum, then it churns round and round. Cement, sand, stones and water create the perfect paste. Now it's off to the construction site, there is no time to waste. Celia's drum keeps moving, round and round all twirly whirly. This keeps the concrete mixture from going hard too early. She needs to get there in one hour, no messing on the way. The construction site is not too far, so that should be okay. Uh, Celia? I think there's something wrong with your drum. It's not supposed to be making that noise. Perhaps you should drive back over to Gecko's garage so that we can take a look. If it stops turning, then you'll be in trouble. The concrete will be stuck solid in the drum. Oh dear, it looks like Celia is carrying on to the construction site. Uh-oh, a traffic jam. But don't worry, you still have three quarters of your time left. Hmm, your drum is still making a terrible noise. Are you sure you won't come back to the garage? We don't want your drum to... Stop. Uh-oh. Celia, where are you going? If the concrete hardens in your drum, then you'll be in terrible trouble. It'll take days to get the hardened concrete out. We need to get you fixed up right away, back at the garage. Oh no, Celia, what have you done? Your drum has stopped and now your wheel has come off. You can't drive to the construction site or to the garage. And with a drum full of concrete, you're too heavy for Helen the helicopter to pick up. If you can't come to the garage, then we'll come to you. Hold on in there, Celia. We're on our way. Go, go, Helen! Our time is half gone, so we need to get that drum turning again, and quickly. Go, go, Mechanicals! Fantastic! Now, let's get that tyre changed. You're all fixed up now, Celia. But we only have 15 minutes left. I just can't see how you can get to the construction site in time. If only there was someone who could help you get there faster. Hooray! Here comes Millie the police motorbike. She can put on her flashing lights and clear a path through the traffic to the construction site. We'll meet you there. Phew! You made it just in time, Celia. But that was very, very close. I think Celia's learnt her lesson. And next time there's something wrong, she'll come and get help from her friends at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! We've got a visitor here today. Have you seen him anywhere? He's big. He's very big. He's George the Giant Dump Truck. Oh, there you are, George. George is usually hard at work in the mine, carrying massive amounts of rock. But today, he's here at Gecko's Garage getting some new tyres fitted. They are huge! George is so big, he can't fit inside the garage. 
so he's having his tyres changed outside. Those look great. Well done, Mechanicals. Before he goes home to the mine, George is going to visit his little brother Dylan the dump truck over at the construction site. The site entrance is wide. But George is much wider. Uh-oh. He's going to knock down the fence. Watch out, George! Oh, dear. Florence and Sid are getting the flowers ready to plant in the gardens of the new houses. What pretty flowers! Red, yellow, and blue. Don't leave the flowers there. Those flowers are tall, but George is much taller. Uh-oh, George can't see the flowers and he's going to squash them. Watch out, George. dear. Celia's pouring concrete foundations into that trench. The trench is large, but George is much larger. Uh-oh, he's going to drive straight through it. Watch out, George! Oh dear. Here's George's brother, Dylan. He doesn't look very happy about all the mess that George has made today. And here comes Helen the helicopter. She's checking on the construction work from way high up in the sky. Oh dear, something's wrong. I think Helen's about to crash land on the construction site. Oh dear, poor Helen. We need to get you back to the garage. But how can we do that? I'd normally call Helen to carry a broken vehicle to the garage, but she can't carry herself. Helen is very big. Can you think of anyone that could help get Helen to the garage? George! That's right! Helen is very big, but George is much bigger. He can carry Helen back. George is too big for gardening. And he smashed the construction gate. He messed up Celia's concrete. That really wasn't great. But when Helen was in trouble, he knew just what to do. No matter if you're big or small, there's a perfect job for you. Well done, George. You've saved the day. The Mechanicals will get Helen sorted out in no time. And you'd best head home to the mine. You've got important work to do. Bye! Oh! Uh-oh! The trees! Watch out, George! Too late. Hello, everyone. Dr. Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone! It's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts, and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. 
The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare parts store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs, fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know just the mixer, Celia. Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. <laughs> Wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise. Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking, Florence. They must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hacks. Ah, here come the games. Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets. And Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of pass the parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hacks left to get. Found them! Phew! Come on, Florence. Let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr. Poppy wants them for. Shh, everybody. Here he comes. Three, two, one. Surprise! <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question. What did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko. Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. Bye! Bye. Hello everyone! Leo the limo's coming over to the garage today. He's a super long stretched out car who takes people to special places in style. Oh no! Look out Leo! Oh dear, Leo's got a scratch down his side now. 
and he's covered in mud. That's not a good look. You'd better hurry over to the garage, Leo, so we can help you get cleaned and repaired. Oh dear, that puddle must be deeper than it looks. Leo's wheel is stuck. I'd call for Helen the helicopter, but there's too many trees and not enough room for her to land. I think it's time to call on our newest Gecko's Garage helper, Tilly the Tow Truck. Go, go, Tilly! Tilly the Tow Truck has a big hook that she can use to rescue vehicles in trouble. Tilly's hook is perfect for pulling Leo out of that deep puddle. Thank you, Tilly. Now you can both drive to the garage. Thanks again for your help, Tilly. You're a great new member of our team. Oh dear, look at the state of you, Leo. Leo's supposed to be driving me and the Mechanicals to the premiere of the new Star Truck movie. But we can't turn up with him looking like that. We'd better get you fixed up, Leo. Drive through the truck wash so that we can clean that mud away. There. Now the mud's gone. Let's get you into the garage, so that we can take a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn, as we make Leo turn. Wow, that is a nasty scratch. And your sunglasses are broken too. Don't worry Leo, the mechanicals will soon have you looking as good as new. Go, go, Mechanicals! That really is an awful scratch. But the Mechanicals have paint to match. A quick respray. New glasses too. And there you are, as good as new. Fantastic! Leo looks like a super cool dude again. Well done, Mechanicals. It's time to drive over to the movie premiere. Jump in, Mechanicals. Red, orange and yellow Mechanicals. Green, blue and purple Mechanicals. Black, white and grey mechanicals, brown mechanical and pink mechanical. Hang on a minute, it looks like the mechanicals have invited all of their friends and family to join us. Goodness me, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Leo might be a stretch limo, but he can't possibly carry all these extra mechanicals to the premiere. He's going to need some help. Here come some helpers now. Maisie the mower, Trevor the tractor, Max the monster truck, Dylan the dump truck, and Bobby the bus. Hmm, I'm still not sure there's going to be room for all these extra mechanicals. Let's measure you. Let's measure the vehicles to see how long they are. We can use the crates to help us. Maisie the mower is the smallest. She's one crate long. Next is Trevor the tractor. Two crates long. The middle truck is Max the monster truck. Three crates long. Even bigger is Dylan the dump truck. Four crates long. The longest vehicle 
is Bobby the Bus. Five crates long. To make more room for more mechanicals, I think we're going to have to turn you all into... Stretch Trucks! Let's press the stretch button. The first one in is little Maisie. Ha ha, this machine is really crazy. It pushes and pulls her, fast then slower. Welcome Maisie, the stretch mower. Here comes Trevor from the farm. Don't worry Trev, no need for alarm. Now he really has the X Factor. Introducing Trevor, the Stretch Tractor. Next in line is our friend Max. Following in Trevor's tracks. Everyone will be awestruck by Max, the Stretch Monster Truck. Dylan is the next one through. Ready to join the stretched out crew. A twist, a pull, a nip, a tuck. It's Dylan, the stretch dumper truck. Bobby is the last through the machine. It stretches him like a string bean. It's Bobby XL++++. Plus plus plus. It's Super Long Bobby, the stretch bus. Let's see how long our vehicle friends are now. Maisie the mower is six crates long. Trevor the tractor. Seven crates long. Max the monster truck. Eight crates long. Dylan the dump truck. Is nine crates long. And last but definitely not least, Bobby the bus is Ten crates long. They're enormous. That's everyone on board. Let's head over to the movie premiere. Wow, this is amazing! Thank you to Leo and my other truck friends for driving us to the movie in style. I'm sorry they can't join us all in the cinema. They're too long to fit in the seats. Hang on a minute. This isn't a regular movie theatre. It's a drive-in. That means everyone can watch the film, even my truck friends. Hooray! A 
see you again soon. Bye.